Hi everyone, in this quick video I will show you how to install your PEI sheet onto your magnetic heatpad steel sheet and then after it you will get a bubble free perfect surface. So after unpacking you can see my fingerprint so I would recommend you to take on some gloves and then clean up the surface because it's crucial. I use isopropyl alcohol for this purpose because it can degrease the surface from your fingerprints for example and also evaporates really quick as you can see and left no marks on the surface. With the help of the gloves you don't need to be afraid of new fingerprints. So now comes the hard part. Peel off around 3 cm from your PI sheet adhesive side and then position the sides precisely and you will see that the holes on the PI sheet do not match with the steel sheet but it's no problem for us now. After you position the part take some clothes or paper towel or whatever slips good on the surface and then push the bubbles out carefully peel off the paper at the back side no more than five centimeters and then work around always with the towel after you finished the peel off movement push down the rest and make sure that it sticks well and do not forget that there's a protective layer also on the top of the PI sheet and if you forget it then your 3d prints won't stick on the surface now there are still some little air bubbles so we will squeeze them out in the next step. You should use something which is soft enough to not scratch the surface but hard enough to push down the PEI sheet onto the steel sheet surface. I just used this paper roll which came with the 3D printer that I assembled. If you're curious which printer then stay around because that will be my next video. After you squeeze the air out, one final cleaning with the isopropyl alcohol and you will see that the result is perfect. The other side is the same process, so you can just repeat it and then swap your steel sheet with the PEI surface onto your 3D printer and start printing with perfect first layer adhesion. I hope this short video was helpful for you, see you next time.